Okay guys, so what's up? This is Stephen Lee. I'm gonna make another YouTube video. Um, I just wanna make this video to talk about something I've really wanted to share on my heart, like just quite a while. It's usually I don't share like a lot of stuff that's like that's non-political. I mean, you know, but honestly, if I were to share one thing, it would be don't give up on God. God has so much bigger plans like for your life. It's like, you know, when we look at all the troubles that we see in the world, all the bad things going on in our country and the world, and we just like, we feel like we lost hope or like, you know, we feel like, oh, maybe we want to complain about this, but it's like, you know, looking back on my life, it's like, God is still sovereign. God is still good. And so, and I've had to come to this conclusion myself, like every single time, you know, because I would say like, oh Lord, oh my gosh, my country is going into so much degeneracy. There's so much trouble in this world. But it's like, do not give up on God. Like God is literally, worshiping God is literally the number one most important thing and for every Christian in our lives. It's like, and even as a Christian myself, you know, to somebody who trusts in the Bible, trusts in the Word of God, to guide me is that, and even somebody, as somebody who trusts in like the, us in like God, you know, to help me guide my life and even my my views on just life, on just life in general, I just say like, like the Lord is so He wants to make a way for people to go into the holy of holies. Like He wants to. Help people. He wants to make a way for people to go to heaven. And it's like, and so we as Christians, we cannot, do not lose sight of the eternal reward that God has for us. We as Christians, we cannot lose sight of the things God is for, what God has for us. The things of the world, they're temporary. You know, whatever we have, you know, the apartment I'm living in. You know, all the food I have, you know, it's temporary. But with God, it's eternal. Oh, God is always eternal. It's like, and I I just believe with all my heart as a Christian, like if I disown God, he will disown me. It's like, you know, the Bible talks about, you know, when Jesus says, whoever is not afraid to acknowledge me before all men, I will also acknowledge him before my father who is in heaven. But if if you do not acknowledge me before all men, then I will disown you before my father in heaven. It's like it's a scary thing to hear. Like the scariest thing that for anybody to hear from God is I never knew you. Depart from me because so many people, you know, the Bible talks about how many will come many will say on that day like lord lord you know do we not prophesy in your name or god lord lord do we not cast out demons in your name lord lord do we not preach or they'll say stuff like oh lord do we not preach the gospel in your name but it's like jesus will say to a lot of those people like he'll say i never knew you depart from me you workers of iniquity. It's like, that's a really scary thing. It's like Christians, we have to be ready for the coming of Jesus. It's like, because right now, you know, this this world, it's going into more and more darkness and just evil, like with every passing day, like. Hey, and so Christians, do not give up praying. We sh And this is for me as well. Like, this is literally also for me. I'm not just, like, telling this to you guys because I'm going to I'm claiming I'm better than you. I think this is for me as well. This is for all of us. Like, we need to continually worship and just, like, pray to God without ceasing. It's like our prayers to God. Like, God knows our hearts. God knows our desires. He knows, knows the things that we need in order that we go. Oh, to heaven, you know. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. It's like, do not give up on God. Always make Jesus the Lord of your life.
and always trust as always trust in the word of god amen hallelujah take care and god bless